So, um, I just attempted to do a live stream on this walk out through Epping Forest and it failed. So what I thought I'd do instead, actually, is just do a video as if it were a live stream, just like a one-take video, just mainly because I want to talk to you, really, just to stay in touch and share this with you, share and share this with you without... Um, see, I'll even leave in that retake there to, <laughs> to prove this is unedited. Uh, just, but just to share this little section of the forest here, but I don't want to make a... A full films. I've got two actually to edit. Well, I've got three really in reality. So have a look at this. I love this bit here. And I'm shooting this in full auto, by the way. So if it's a bit ropey, that's why. This is a. Uh, this is in Walthamstow. We're just coming towards the end of uh, Forest Road, and over here, you can see this is the reservoir, the waterworks. I think it's actually called the uh, Woodford. Uh, Thames Water Woodford Pumping Station or something. It's a marvellous building, but it's on the other side of the, uh, on the, facing the road there. I love this. I love this bit up here. I was up here a couple of weeks ago, uh, joining the uh, Refugee Tales Walk, um, which is a fantastic project. A bunch of people, including numerous refugees, go on a long-distance walk, and then every night... They stop and they tell their stories to, to local people in the spirit of the, you know, like the Canterbury Tales. It's organised by some people from uh, uh, University of Kent in Canterbury. And this year they walked the, the Lee Valley, the length of the River Lee. So I joined them at Chingford and then they walked down to Stone Newington and walked across here. And I rarely come across here, actually. I tend to walk through the forest on the other side the Hollow Ponds Way and the other side of that road and join this roundabout up here. It's marvellous. Look, look at the view through here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. I'll put my finger in there. There. The Towers of Mammon. <laughs> the Shard. The Towers of the City of London. This is a really lovely spot. Rarely, rarely anybody out here. And uh, we walk this way. It's got some of my little favourite pockets of Epping Forest here. We're going on the bridge. It crosses Forest Road. I mean, it's nearly 30 degrees today. <laughs> it's really foolish to be out here. And what time is it? It's 25 past three. So it's not really advisable look. You get to look down over the whole of the Lee Valley. Isn't that amazing? The hills there on the far side of the Lee Valley. What's that? Sort of Stoke Newington, Stamford Hill. Sort of Stamford Hill way, isn't it? Moving up towards Haringey. Isn't it beautiful? A one, two, three bus to Ilford. This walk today hasn't really got any uh, particular aim, and that's the other reason I didn't want to make a video. I kind of, <laughs> that may not seem like it, there is often some sort of idea. But I walk through here so often, I don't really, I can't really remember the parts I've shown you and the parts I haven't on videos, because I come out here quite a lot actually, and I don't know how many Epic Forest videos I've got on the channel. But then last week, I ended up in Epping Forest actually, unintentionally, because I was uh, going to get the train to Broxbourne and walk the River Lee round to uh, Hartford, and uh, there was a sort of tragedy on the tracks, and uh, and the train service was uh, suspended, so I had to come up with another plan. So I went to Loughton, and I walked through the forest and then down across uh, Seaward Stone, Seaward Stone, Seaward Stone. And then um, up through Waltham Abbey, staying on the east side, and then crossed over to, ended up at Broxbourne. Great walk. There is a video. Like I say, it's taking me a while to edit them at the moment. So that's why I do this kind of one take wonder here. And uh, just put it up completely uncut as if it were live. The, the live stream failed because there's poor connection in the forest. I did wonder about that. It was possibly a little bit ambitious to attempt. So I'll try and stick this up tonight uh, or Sunday night or, or Monday morning. And uh, yeah, here we go. Through this little bit of the forest. This is just, you get this, this is the problem with this end of Epping Forest, the problem. You have to learn to love it, I guess, is that you've got these little little um, corridors of forests. So you're never that far away from roads or houses that you can hear the cars. And there's a few miles of this between Leighton Stone and 
up to Chingford really. I don't know, should we go that way or this way? I think I'm just going to stick on the main path today. It's funny I've come into the forest because it's hot and I want shade. Sometimes it's bloody hot in the forest. I think the heat must get trapped under the tree canopy. Um, it's interesting actually that for me, <laughs> that I came out today, I thought, you know what, I'll just go for a walk in the forest. And I was a bit disappointed because I thought, well, I can't really make a video. It's not like... But then um, I was really enjoying just walking and just letting my mind wander, let my thoughts drift. And it's very therapeutic, as I often say in the videos. Um, and it's interesting, I couldn't get any further than this before feeling the need to first attempt a live stream and then after that I still the need to have this conversation with you to have this I was going to say it's a dialogue it feels like a dialogue that's the good thing with a live stream is that it can be a dialogue whereas uh, <laughs> this is obviously a monologue but it feels like a good dialogue because the, the fantastic comments um, and I don't normally when I make a normal video as you know I wouldn't talk at this amount of length with you I mean how long has it been? Six minutes, 25. I've got to change the battery actually. So here is an edit point. Okay. Battery changed. You see, you can hear the road. And I really like this bit coming up here. This view is one of my favourite views in Epping Forest. And if this video has any value showing you this, I think it may be on some of my earlier videos. If you go back to like 2011, maybe 2010. I think there's a video that shows this view and you come out through this little narrow strip of the forest and it's a bridge over the North Circular. I love this view. I do intend to walk the North Circular one day. It just <laughs> it is a bit of an undertaking. It's very long, and obviously you're going to be walking beside this for hmm, 16 hours, maybe 14 hours in reality. And he's looking the other way, back towards uh, Woodford. What I love about it is. Before long, across the bridge, you've got the brutality of the road. At sunset, this is one of the finest views in London, it's just incredible. I'm looking over the industrialised Lee Valley. <laughs> the Lee Valley Rust Belt. I picked up an interesting book. Ah, oh, I haven't got it with me. I picked up an interesting book last weekend at the Olympic Park. Kim is doing an Olympic Park video actually because I made one uh, about three years ago saying is the Olympic Park a bit of crap? And I am quite critical of the Olympic Park in some ways and in other ways I do, <laughs> I do spend quite a lot of time. I was there yesterday with my family and I was there um, last weekend <laughs> with my family as well. It is kind of the place we just sort of go to because you've got like a cafe there and they've got a really good gelateria there. So the whole fiasco of the waste of public money, nine billion quid of it, can be forgiven <laughs> by the fact that there's a marvellous gelateria. But uh, anyway, I went in the velodrome. That's kind of like a different hat. <laughs> That's why I went in the velodrome. I thought, what have they got like a Lee Valley velodrome cap? They have cycling caps. No continue. Look at this. They've done a lot of work in the forest recently. Of grubbing out and uh, yeah, it sort of opened up the spaces a bit. But I went into the velodrome and they had in the uh, sort of display case um, a book about the Lee Valley, the Lee Valley um, Regional, what's it called? 
Lee Valley Regional Park Authority, and that's the uh, organisation. Quango, is it a Quango? That uh, basically, uh, you know, is responsible for the Lee Valley, for the parks and recreation and all that kind of stuff. And um, it was, uh, I got the last copy that they had at the velodrome, which gave it a special tinge. It did, I thought, well, this is just going to be a bit of propaganda, really. I think celebrating 50 years, foreword by the Duke of Edinburgh, a man with a well known passion for the diversity of East London. <laughs> and uh, and then the, I think the subtitle sort of triggered me a little bit to use that contemporary word we're so fond of in that, you know, it was going on about. So I think we're gonna go down here. This is that stone to, to the, I think he was called Gypsy somebody. He was a preacher in the United States. And this is a stone that's, I think he grew up in the forest. Somebody left a brilliant comment on an old video of mine about this stone. I'll try and find it, but don't hold your breath. Um, yeah, look. Gypsy Rodney Smith, who preached the gospel of Christ to thousands on five continents for 70 years, was born here. We called home to journey to America on 4th of August 1947. Interesting, isn't it? This is where I have to come proper, actually, because you get caught on the golf course. I think I want to head down. Do I want to head down? Do I want to head across? No, you head across, don't you? Uh, but anyway, when I um, actually started reading this... Uh, Lee Valley book, this bit of propaganda. I think I got triggered by the fact that it, it talked about um, from, so I think it's called something like um, from wasteland to playground, something like that. Right, and the photograph was showing the site of Clay's Lane, which was a housing cot where people lived. I know people that lived there and they lost their homes because of the Olympics. You know, it's the idea that if things that have the utility that you give value to then they have no value. It's like, well, <laughs> people that lived there didn't think it was a waste ground. It was their homes where they lived, where they had lives. So there were a lot of businesses in the Lower Lee Valley. They got shunted out by the Olympics, admittedly. Economically, it probably had gone into a bit of decline, but it still had value, you know. People still had livelihoods and lives. They've got to move. Anyway, it is actually a great book. <laughs> it's not just, well, it is propaganda, but it's a really good book if you're interested in Lee Valley. I'm determined to keep this as unedited as possible, but this part of me gets a little bit self-conscious when I'm just talking to a camera and I walk past people. This is a bit that always confuses me, straight ahead, and you've got down there, if you go down there, I think straight ahead. It is also really nice, again, it's not on a video, if you were here at Woodford, you can drop down there, and really you're on the spine here, or between the Lee Valley and the Roding Valley, and if you go over that, I'll zoom in, where those trees are, and you start to look across the Roding Valley, whereas of course, if we go through the forest here, you get down to Chingford, and then you've got the opening out of the Lee Valley. So this is a bit of a special spot, really, through the forest here. I think this video is going to be quite long, isn't it? Maybe, maybe this is a really good place to sign off. Um, Hope you could sort of <laughs> hope you could appreciate that you know, it's just a completely unedited vlog, really, just a ramble, just a, a ramble whilst rambling. Thanks as ever for watching. Look out on the community tab on the channel. Let me know for a live stream when it'd be a good time for you. Uh, use GMT as a time, and uh, I'll try and do one in, in a place with a better connection. And uh, I'm going to crack on. Who knows where I'll end up? Maybe I'll drop in with another little piece. I did like three chunks. Maybe not. Or this could be the end. So I'll sign off. See you on the next walk. Two edited videos after this.